<laughs> Welcome to day number seven, and we have a different type of video today. We're playing Pokemon Go, specifically speaking, Pokemon Go in Tokyo, where we're going to be doing routes. Because guess what? They've created routes here, real life routes. You can see signs all over the place, like this one right here, which is Magikarp's route. They have a map actually. We gotta find that map, but if you follow this in the game, it'll take you along the way in Asakusa. So, they also have images like this lying around everywhere. And look, he's playing Pokemon Go. I think there's four of these, so there's one. Let's see if we can find more. Here's a second one on the back side of it. So, first thing I wanna do is obtain a bag. My goodness, this place is super decorated. See? Karumaka route is this way. They also have these special rickshaws, Machamp rickshaws decorated as Pokemon, so you have to get in a lottery to be able to go through them. We're gonna try to spot as many of them as we can. It's so crowded. I think we found the bag. We got the bag! Oh, right. This is such a legit looking bag. I love the walking Pikachu. It's old style, too. All right, step one complete. Step two, let's open up the game. Before we open up the game, we have ourselves a Pokestop here. Well, I don't know if it is actually a Pokestop. It's a real live Pokestop. All right, so the goal today is very simple. First, what we want to do today is get the bag, which we already did. Awesome bag. Second, there are two murals that are lying around, along with these four behind me that I want to see or take a photo of. Third thing to do, there's a route. We have to follow a route, because once you follow a route, you can get a reward, but we have to do that before 5 p.m. So we're gonna follow one of the eight routes. So if we pop open the game, you can see right now, there's quite a bit of spawns happening. These are actually special spawns for this event. There's a couple Snorlaxes here. Oh my God, it's tiny. The spawns are specific to this area. Based off this map that I show right here, it's based off that map, the Pokemon that are listed there are actually gonna be spawning here. Also, there's eight routes. They have eight different types of routes around this city. So we're going to try to do a couple of them because we at minimum need to do one. And there's event specific raids going on. There's a little lot going on. And some Pokestops are special. I, I don't know where to find them, but when I do, I'll let you guys know. Maybe this one. This one. There you go. Special Pokestop. So spin this, have a special Pikachu gift. Alright, before we get started, we were given this bag and I saw something inside. So what is inside? Open it up. Oh, it explains what's going on. Oh, also, if you show the Pokemon Go, at least your uh, game, to the people at the Pokemon Center, they give you a sticker. Oh, there's the map. This map right here showcases the city and every single spawn. I'm not sure where we are exactly, but maybe you see all the Snorlax spawns, so maybe we are here. Beautiful, it's like a scroll, so authentic Japan look. I think this is the sky tree too. Oh, they're also giving away these uh, hats so I could look like Pikachu. But I have a lot of those, so I don't need that. We're gonna keep going. I found a mural of the map right out in the public area, right in front of Don Quixote. You can see where all the Pokemon are gonna spawn. It's beautiful. So we have that little card. We gotta follow this map. So remember, memorize this map. This is gonna help us. I haven't been able to do a route because I just keep seeing things that we wanted to see. So. We saw that mural, but look behind me. You see the purple right there? That's another mural. Let's get closer. Look at what it is. Yeah, that's Meowth on 40 little cushions. 40 Japanese cushions. Meowth sitting at top right there. Everyone doesn't even notice it, but it's literally in the busiest area of this location. And I saw the other mural that we wanted to see, so we're gonna head over this way. We found the other scroll, which has Pikachu in a battle screen, a Pokemon Go battle screen, and Greninja facing off. It's supposed to look like an authentic Japanese scroll, because you can see each pillar has another image on it, or six little scrolls combined all to make one image. Really, really beautiful. And you can take a photo with it by standing behind Pikachu. Similar to how Greninja has somebody behind them, you would be behind Pikachu cheering them on. So you can see Eevee's the pink route, but I was looking at what the shortest one is to do first. It looks like the dark blue one under the bridge of Magikarp and Greninja is, so I'm gonna look for that. And there's another one. All right, Pikachu route is here, this direction. And I saw the Litwick is down this way. Those are purple and yellow. 
I'm still looking for dark blue. Oh, Magikarp is dark blue. It's that way. Okay. So we have to go down this street into the left. Oh, arigato. Uh, what is this they just gave me? It's not Pokemon really, but it looks nice. Okay. I'm just getting stuff now. I don't know, is it just me? I don't think it is, but this bus looks like it's Pokemon Pokeball covered. It's a panda bus with red on top. I don't think that's actually the case, but sort of, you know, it looks like it. Are we walking through right now, trying to get through. I see a raid up ahead that has a whole bunch of people. Maybe we join it. It's a Tornadus raid. This is a rare opportunity to get a Tornadus, so might as well try it out. And the cool thing is about this area, while we beat this, we're almost done, is they have desks, which I'm assuming are not usually here, so you can relax and eat your food or whatnot. Survey says, is it shiny? No, it's not. Oh well, it was still fun. This event, they have it listed here. This is the scroll. We already saw this scroll. Good, that's checked. See all these routes available. Um, I will follow one just in a second. It seems like I never can do it. We saw these four and we saw Meow. We got this bag. And then we saw the rickshaw with Machamp and the Pokeball wheels. Right here, there's Pokemon Go stops. We saw that. And then the routes. So there's a foodie route, a quaint, quiet route, a fun route, a route where you can encounter unusual things in Asakusa, a route where you can take a leisurely walk on the river, which is what we're gonna do. That's the blue one. And then a narrow street route. And last, a special one recommended at night. We need to do a route in order to get a sticker. So that's the last thing I need to do. Let's do it. All right, I'm following the Magikarp route, which is this way. In-game raids at all these Poke stops. Oh my goodness, look at all these raids. Articuno, see nearby routes. Oh, you can see, oh my goodness. It, you can see Eevee, the official route of Eevee. That looks so cool. Okay, we gotta finish these so we can have that little badge. You know what? We're close to Eevee. Let's do Eevee then. All right, we, as you can see, are doing the Eevee route right now, the official Eevee route. We just started it. There's a start point, end point. And both of the signs actually are Poke Stops, which I didn't know. So these are special Poke Stops that I need to get. Now I'm feeling like I gotta do all eight routes. First one, got this one. It says go this way and then turn right. It is a route of 500 meters. Oh, that's not bad. I thought it was much longer. Okay. Look at this view. It's beautiful. I've actually never really hung around this area. So this is sort of a great excuse to be able to find a way to play. And also look, so many spawns. It's sort of insane. Double, double Snorlax on the right side. No shiny. Gaudi as they call it here in Japan. I don't have that one. But look at this. Asakusa Don Quixote. I think the EV route says, let's see where it goes. To the right, this way. Through the people. Have you ever seen so many Pikachu hats? It's sort of insane. Look at that. Gardevoir's route is to the right. Meowth's route is behind us. Up ahead, I can see all the EV routes too. This is where they're holding the Machamp rally, or at least the raffle to ride with the Machamp rickshaws. If I can see that over there. Maybe I can enter in that. <laughs> okay, I saw it. That table behind us is actually where we need to go after we finish our one route. So we're gonna finish our Eevee route and then we're gonna go back to that table because I saw it, it was the same map, the Pokemon map with all that, but it's like a beautiful sticker. Whoa, it's like a carnival going on. Not a carnival, but like an arcade. Like, you can spin on the flying disc over there. I think the EV route continues. Wait, 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 wait. Just look at my game. Okay, yeah. Straight down this way is the end of the route. Let's go see. So much going on here. I think there's a lot of food to be bought. You can get a lot of potatoes here. Cool photo here. Opportunity. And in the game right now, I have Matt, Mateo talking to me, actually. And what does he want? Exchange gift. What gift do you want? Oh. I give you that? No, I give you a different gift. I give him this gift. Alright. There we go. Cool. You can have a gift. What's he giving me? Is he giving me the Eevee gift? Have a spectacular day. Thanks. We just finished the route? Yes, complete route. And boom! Look at that. Eevee route complete. Beautiful. 
Now it makes me want to do all the routes. Also, since I've done this, I gotta go back. But let's see what the easiest way. Five stars, of course. Now, let's find another route. Okay, we got Gardevoir and Snorlax. Let's go get that sticker though. I'm excited for that. This is where Eevee ended actually. Right here at this, it looks like a carnival inside. Little rides and stuff. And this panda post box, which is absolutely adorable. And there's so much food to be had. Everyone's here shopping. Uh, we're gonna do our routes. Okay, we're heading back now to get that sticker. It was sort of a 200 meter walk from there, so give me some time. Non-decorated, but still really cool. I'm gonna show the route badge and hopefully they give me that sticker. I think it's right here too, so let's line up. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's a huge sticker. It's beautiful. This sticker is so cool. So big too. Oh my goodness. Ah, nice. So what do we do now? Let's do another route. All right, now I'm going to follow this. Snorlax route is this way. God, this place is full of routes. So it might just be me, but I feel like every single route is listed here and told where exactly you can go get it. The routes is up ahead. Litwick to the right, Meowth is behind us. I guess let's just see, it must be the most popular location is uh, walking through this little area with all these shops. All these, it smells good too, but I must at least get a couple more routes in. You can see the sky tree in the background actually. And in the foreground, there's a whole bunch of little shops. Looks like they have Jagabata, so potato with butter. They have yakisoba, so noodles, so many things. And it's beautifully colored in fall. It's still fall, even though it's December. But the crazy thing is in game, you can actually see some crazy spawns, like a Gardevoir spawn. I guess they're nearby the routes that they are. Very surprised, those are not spawns you normally see. Pretty cool event, actually. Let's see if I can find that Poke stop. Where am I? Well, easiest way is to go to the routes. Let's see, routes. Okay, we need to go forward more. So let's keep walking. Okay, we have ourselves these two routes here. Which one do we pick? I'm thinking Snorlax, but also Gardevoir. They're both cool. This was such a random event. I didn't expect this to be happening. I just saw it at the, one of the Pokemon centers that we went to. There we go, Gardevoir. So Gardevoir design, you check this out, right? You see this, looks, looks like a Gardevoir. It's not bad. And you click this one, Snorlax. So adorable. I'm thinking we go the Snorlax one because that badge or that route badge would look cool. The nearby routes, we're gonna do Snorlax. So let's click that and follow. And looks like we need to go back and then left. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this route is going through this Sinchencho again which we already saw earlier, but it's a 675 meter route. So longer than the EV one, but I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty cool. Oh my God, almost fell. I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty cool because that little route badge of a Snorlax is cute. You can see double Snorlaxes right there. It's always Snorlaxes. But it looks like we need to turn left and then go straight and then we're going to walk around the park. Okay, the vibe here is so cool. They have places where you can eat outside. It's sort of like it's too full inside, so they put tables and chairs outside. You can smell it, it smells amazing. Maybe that's just how it is always, but because of this event, I actually came here and it's pretty interesting. And surprisingly, they've spread it out with the eight routes that it's not so crowded as I always think of uh, Asakusa. It makes you feel like Japan, doesn't it? It's so, like, old school. It's the vibe's interesting here. That's an adorable shot, isn't it? Look at that. So the Snorlax one takes us through this area here, which looks to have a lot of shops. Sort of feels touristy. Oh my goodness, that is a view, though. Look at that. Oh, it's the actual temple. The temple's down there. No route at the temple? Interesting. Snorlax, why do you guys keep showing up? Hello, big Snorlax. What the heck is this? It's like just there and you take a photo with it. Whoa, do you see all these vaults? What if one was shiny? 
and I touch the one thing that's not roll. I think the route says turn. While we turn, let's this shiny check. Oh my gosh, tiny. Look. Feels like Ralt's community right now. Why is there so many of these guys? Woo! Every area. Oh my god, it is shiny. No way. That's a joke. Down this aisle right here. Nice. Very, very cute. Shiny. All right. Let's finish uh, this route now. Oh, Zygarde cell. Two Zygarde cells. This is awesome. All right, we got a Pikachu Poke stop, which we can spin. Why not? Let's give that gift away. Uh, right here. There it is. Another snark. So the beginning and the end have actually the poke stop. So you can get two times the amount of these cool little routes. Alright, we're gonna complete the route right now. Yes, we got our two cells. And there it is. Look at that route badge. Cool! Oh, five stars, of course. It was beautiful. Next up, what's the next route? Looks like Meowth is the next one, 83 meters away. We'll go there. Ooh, I think Meowth is right here. Let's see the stop. Yes, the Meowth stop is right here. Let's get that gift. 594 meters, okay. 594 meters this way. Look at this Pokeballs on it. You were listening to all that noise that was going on when we were doing the other routes. The Meowth route has been so silent. It's so peaceful out here. We need to go... This way? Routes are difficult sometimes. I think it's this way. There's so many shops and I've actually never walked this area. So you know what, Pokemon Go? Your routes work, but only in events like this. I don't do routes on, in general. It's no fun, but this has sort of made it really, really fun. They need to do this worldwide more often. So anyone watching this, tag Niantic and say, do this again. Uh, the vibe's changing right now. I hear music, Christmas music, which is not Pokemon related. Maybe this is something additional, but I hear like the Japanese drums, taiko drums, as well as a bell in the rhythm of Jingle Bells. Is it Jingle Bells? I think. Let's see what's going on. Look, it's from these people. They are Pokemon Go related. Oh, I can't get to them. promoting walking in Pokemon Go. I've ended up with a Pikachu hat. I'm trying to figure out how to get to all the routes and I think I need to get away from this area which is sort of sad. I want to spin all the stops and get those little images. This street is full of orange hands, I'm not entirely sure. Look at the lights, it's beautiful. Orange everywhere. I wonder if there's any significance towards that. And what's going on? It's like Halloween, but not. I found it. I know this route takes me back to the beginning, but I just want to spin this one. I just want the gift. Yes. Litwick's right there. Give me the gift. Cool. We're doing the, <laughs> look at my hair. We're doing the Litwick route, which is one of the longest routes, 1,000 meters. And it takes us all the way across the river. So that's gonna be sweet. But that's where all the other routes are, so it's perfect, actually. And, oh, we are walking past the busiest section of Asakusa, because the temple's right here. So many people. This is the part I always go to, and it's always crowded. Look, nice view, though. Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno are literally in raids. That's so cool. In different areas. Let's do this, Moltres. We also have this little cat here. Sky Tree Tower and Sapporo Building, which is a little poop gold looking thing. And this is the Sumida River. So what a combination. Beautiful sight, actually. Relaxing, too. So they're making us walk all the way to the other side. Look at the cool purple color on this bridge. And then, oh, a train's going across. That's actually a beautiful location. I've never walked across this bridge, so this is fun. I don't know if you noticed it, but the route I was doing, which is the longest route in this freaking game, it just didn't work. It doesn't, maybe it didn't capture my GPS, but I'm not moving, or I am moving, 
but it doesn't have that blue color that's going along with it. So right now, route's not being completed. So I figure I'm gonna go back actually, because I have six of the eight route poke stops. Anyways, I'm gonna find the other two Pikachu and Magikarp, spin those, and then have all eight of them. And I think that's what I'm gonna do as the finishing part of this video. Routes in real life in Tokyo. This is amazing, absolutely amazing. I don't usually like routes, but I do recommend if you ever have a chance to do something like this, definitely do it. This has been fun. This is Zapdos Raid up ahead. But more importantly, other than the fact there's like a billion people in it, Magikarp is up ahead. And even more importantly, and if I think it looks really cool, Pikachu's up ahead. That is what we have to do down this last path. I just got a hello from people inside the workshop. Missed it on camera though. Pikachu won. All right, we got the Pikachu gift. Uh, instead of the Zapdos raid, I decided to do a Thunderous raid because I don't have this shiny, so I do have the Zapdos one. Look at the sky tree in the background though. Beautiful view. I always never recommend people to come out here to Asakusa, but actually with this whole event, it's been fun. And it sort of takes you away from the touristy areas. That's day seven. We're about to finish up this video and get to day eight. Let's see if this one was shiny. Wouldn't that be perfect, Andy? I don't think it's far away. It didn't. There's the Magikarp. Boom. We did it. We got all eight. Green and white. It's Christmas colors. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, we're finishing up the route to new friendships with Mateo. Oh, Wulu they give you. Okay. Finishing up this task or research, which I never do because I don't do routes and doing this event. So it's like a two for one. Two birds, one stone. Anyways, is that how it? One bird, what? Looks like page three. Wow, Mateo. He came on a delay there, but Mateo's here. Oh, it looks like hatch an egg, spin 15, complete five research and exchange a gift with Matt three times. Well, Matt, we're not gonna see each other today. That's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Very different, very cool. I think I have a different perspective of routes if you do it in an event style like this. Anyways, day seven's complete. Day eight, obviously, comes tomorrow. And what are we doing in day eight? You just have to wait and see, because it's something, probably fun. I'll see you guys. Enjoy.